Hey, it's Mark with Mark's Virtual Real Estate Channel, and we're in Upland again. And tomorrow is the release of Detroit. So we're going to talk about that, uh, what my plan is. And it kind of snuck up on me. I didn't even realize it's Wednesday already and the release is tomorrow. So I'm still in LA. And I need to get myself over to Detroit and do that before the release. <laughs> so we'll talk about that and some different things going on in Upland. Of course, check out um, my real real estate channel, Mark Ferguson, Invest for More. We walked through a rental property that's vacant yesterday, one that we're going to release um, or re rent here pretty soon if you want to check that out. Lots of other stuff going on there. We love the likes, comments, shares here, so keep that up as well. And if you're new to Upland, don't know what it is, it's a virtual real estate game where you can buy actual lots in um, the United States right now in certain cities and build on them, collect rent on them, trade them, flip them, sell them. And it's quite a bit of fun and there's lots of other stuff going on too. But um, they release new cities once in a while and tomorrow they're releasing Detroit. So they released Los Angeles down here, south and north LA, a little over a month ago, I think. Um, and then uh, before that, they added on to Oakland with Alameda and Berkeley. Before that, re they released the Bronx over here. And now they're releasing Detroit. Oh, and we can see the neighborhoods now. I didn't even know we could do that yet. So I need to get myself to Cleveland. So when you're in Upland, you can't just send your block explorer guy wherever you want. He has to actually take a train or a plane to get to different cities. So you can send him places within the city he's at, but you can't um, just send him to other cities. So that's one thing to know. You have to go to the airport um, or the train station and go to one of those cities. So we are going to oh, send him, go to the terminal. It usually costs you a little bit, 25 upics, not that much. So we'll go to the airport and then fly over to Cleveland probably because that looks like the closest area. And there's not an unlimited amount of airlines or train rides. So you want to make sure you do this relatively quickly and not like, um, oh, we don't want to buy it. Where's the, where's the terminal? There we go. Set me pretty far away. There we go. Um, we want to go to Oh, we can't fly into Cleveland, can we? We can fly into Chicago. I think that was close enough. Let's see. We will. Yeah, that's the closest place we can go. 1700 upics to fly to Chicago. So it's kind of expensive to fly, but that's what we want to do. Confirm. So off we go. We are now flying in the airport. I mean, 1700 upix is like a dollar and 70 cents in American dollars. So it's not a tremendous amount, but it is a little bit you know, when you send yourself to other properties within Upland or the United States, whatever you want to call it, it's usually 20 to 50 upix, which is almost nothing. So a little more expensive. And then we should be able to take a train ride once we get there to Detroit right here. I mean, I did not know they released the neighborhoods yet. So that's kind of cool to see. And I believe they said here, we can go here and look um, at the resources news. And then we can click do to do on the upcoming cities tab, and it will tell us what's happening tomorrow. So, and then I'll talk about my plan here, but basically the next city is Detroit and we went through all of this a couple days ago, release details Thursday, March 3rd, which is tomorrow at 8 AM. And then the terminal sale. So they sold the train stations already. I was a day and 22 hours yet to get that terminal station. So I did not buy one. All right. Um, getting to Detroit. Yeah, you can take a train from Chicago, from Cleveland, from Nashville, or from Manhattan. And then, all right, phase one release will begin by opening Fox Creek and Greenfield neighborhoods, and then a five minute warning before phase two when they open everything else. So Fox, Fox Creek and Greenfield, I have no idea where those are. Okay, 
I mean, I could do a quick search. Or we, oh, there's Fox Creek right there. And let's see. I can't imagine they have any neighborhoods up yet. Oh, they do have lots up yet. Look at that. They're on top of it. So we can see all the FSAs. So how big are 34? We won't know the prices until the neighborhood is opened up. But you can see all those FSAs. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot, holy cow, of FSAs. And that's what they said. So that's cool. FSA is a fair start um, program. So only players who have less than 100,000 UPEX net worth can buy FSA properties. So that's to kind of help the new players begin. And they should be very cheap. Look at all of these FSAs. I mean, they are almost all FSAs. So um, here's some bigger ones that aren't. So for this strategy, since I'm seeing so many FSAs, I definitely want to try and mint stuff if I can. It might be, there's, there's a little stretch right here. Save that stretch right there. And you screenshot that. <laughs> um, boy, look at all these. So you, um, if you can mint some, you can probably sell them pretty quickly, flip and turn them around right after uh, the original minting. That's how, even in LA when we had lots of, um, you know, properties still left unminted, you could still flip stuff really quickly in the trial test neighborhoods, you know, before the full release. And I did that as well and made quite a bit of money. There's a few more non-FSAs in there. And seeing how few FSAs there are, I bet you these will sell pretty quick. So, um, that's interesting. So that's Fox Creek, almost all FSAs. And what was the other one? Greenfield. I feel like I got really lucky finding Fox Creek so fast. And sometimes I like stare at, oh, Greenfield Park? Was that it? Or just Greenfield? Just Greenfield. Well, I imagine it would be close to Greenfield Park, right? Maybe it's supposed to be Greenfield Park. I don't know. <laughs> but we have all of these. Oh, there's Greenfield. Look at that. I did find it. So let's see if these are all FSAs as well. Um, Not as many. So you can definitely see. So there is less here. So that's kind of a strategy. It sounds like they're doing both of those at once. So what's your strategy? Do you want to go where there's a lot less FSA properties and you might be able to flip them easier? Or do you want to go over here where there's more, you have a better chance of getting some, try and flip those. So those are a couple options. And then one thing I want to look at my weekly food king ad I look at because sometimes I get good deals there from my own store. <laughs> um, where is eight mile? Obviously that's the big, Thing everybody's talking about so um, it's right up there the 102 and then we'll try and see if we can there it is so it's right here up there so I have to imagine 8 mile road will have to be some kind of collection it's, it's very long Probably has lots of properties along it, so maybe not a rare collection or anything, but people will be buying and selling those like crazy. So that's another strategy is to try and buy properties along there. Um, boy, it runs all the way up there. See, learning so much about geography in different areas. <laughs> and then I really haven't researched any other, um, you know, things about Detroit and where they are, if there's an island there, if there's any properties there, like islands are kind of cool, right? Anything along the water is usually going to be worth quite a bit of money. Even if it's not a collection, if you get stuff on the water, it's usually great. Like, I mean, the Marina District just sounds cool. The Gold Coast sounds kind of cool. There's a tiny little neighborhood right there. Maybe that becomes a collection. Like, that's just kind of things I look at and other people look at. Downtown is often a collection. A lot of times um, in cities just because that's where all the big buildings there are where all the money is uh so there's all kinds of different options here and then something else i want to look at
Where's the Detroit football stadium? Ford Field. There it is. Let's see if I can find that. Is that it right there? Tom Adams Field. I think that was it, right? So areas around where NFL football stadiums are. Um, obviously, St. Antoinette. No, maybe that's not the right area. Griot, nope. Ah, stop sampling that, I know. I know my train's in route there, up here. No. Let's get a, a look here, and we'll zoom out here. Oh, okay. Over here. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky figuring out where stuff is because the maps. Let's get rid of that. Okay, was it right? It looked kind of like. Right? Oh, am I too far? That's the problem. It's down here, I think. Right in this area. Yep, there it is. Okay. So that's where the stadium's going to be. So then if we put... That's downtown. So there you go. So the downtown area could definitely be a very hot area with the stadium there, downtown there, um, all kinds of stuff going on there. So that could be a hot bit as well. Um, again, other neighborhoods, I don't know where the expensive areas of Detroit are. Sometimes I'll pull a map and be like, hey, what's the most expensive zip code in certain areas? And that can give you kind of an idea of where to buy to, um, or just buying the absolute cheapest minted properties you can find in a city is not a bad strategy either. So there's all kinds of different things you can do um, when trying to buy in a new city. And I have 378,000 upics, which isn't a ton, it's a little bit. I'd love to have more than that, but it's been hard to sell stuff lately. I've been selling a little bit, but, um, Maybe I'll buy more, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So that's the plan. My airplane is en route to Chicago. You can see it right here. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Very fast flight, 28 minutes. <laughs> and once he gets to Chicago, we'll take a train to Detroit. And then my guy will wander around. If you get extremely, extremely lucky, he'll wander right into the right area you want to be for the release. Or, you know, if he's wandering around in downtown, I probably won't even try and go mint stuff in the first neighborhoods. I'll just let him stay in that area because that's more valuable than minting stuff there. So we'll see. All right. So let me know what your strategies are, what your plans are, where you're targeting. Love to see the comments, likes, subscriptions too. And um, we'll be back with more. We'll videotape what we do. Videotape. Video. What we do tomorrow as well and show that as we always do.